Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Ephesians 6 verse 10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Psalm 18 verse 32 It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 27 verse 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Psalm 46 verse 1 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Romans 8 verse 37 no, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Psalm 118 verse 14 The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Nehemiah 8 verse 10 Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks, and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. 2 Samuel 22 verse 33 It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Colossians 1 verse 11 
being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience. Psalm 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Isaiah 40 verse 28 Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Psalm 28 verses 7 to 8 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalm 118 verse 16 The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. Isaiah 33 verse 2 Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. Ephesians 3 verse 20 Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Psalm 105 verse 4 Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Psalm 144 verse 1 Praise be to the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. Isaiah 12 verse 2 Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Psalm 119 verse 28 My soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Psalm 46 verse 10 He says, Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 138 verse 3 When I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. Hebrews 4 verse 16 let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Psalm 118 verse 6 The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Isaiah 54 verse 17 No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Psalm 16 verse 8 I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Romans 8 verse 31 
What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Psalm 138 verse 7 Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand you save me. 2 Samuel 22 verse 40 You make my enemies turn their backs in flight. I destroy my foes. Psalm 29 verse 11 The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. Psalm 138 verse 8 The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11 Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Isaiah 58 verse 11 The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. 1 Samuel 2 verse 9 He will guard the feet of his faithful servants, but the wicked will be silenced in the place of darkness. It is not by strength that one prevails. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 7 But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. 2 Timothy 2 verse 1 You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. 1 John 4 verse 4 You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Hebrews 13 verse 6 So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Isaiah 54 verse 10 Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, Yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Isaiah 59 verse 19 From the west, people will fear the name of the Lord, and from the rising of the sun, 
they will revere his glory. For he will come like a pent-up flood that the breath of the Lord drives along. Hebrews 12 verse 12 Therefore, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees. Psalm 19 verse 14 May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Psalm 62 verse 5 Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Psalm 18 verse 2 the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Samuel 22 verse 31 As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27 But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Ephesians 3 verse 16 I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 5 not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves, but our competence comes from God. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Matthew 19 verse 26 Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Isaiah 41 verse 13 For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, 
I will help you. Psalm 34 verse 10 The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Psalm 42 verse 11 Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Psalm 84 verse 11 For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well.